Roscoe's Repairs here. We are replacing injectors on a 2002, 2001, 2002, 2002 Prius. First of all, we're going to take off the air cleaner. Got to unscrew this. Got to disconnect this hose. Have to unplug. This is the mass airflow sensor and also the temperature sensor. And don't break these wires, otherwise it'll give you one of those errors. Can you believe that? Take a screwdriver and pop this up. Just like that. Just like that. Pull that off. Still on there, good. Pull that off. All right, now I'm lift it up. This is your number one injector. I'm squeezing this tab right here, there's no locks on these. I like the Mini Cooper. Thumbnails of steel. <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this bolt, this bolt. Oh, and there's no place to check the fuel rail pressure. Yeah, that's right. When I checked the fuel rail pressure, I literally took the fuel line off, which is right back here. And I ran a fuel line fuel filter out here and then I had a fuel pressure tester on it but that loops back down and comes up to the fuel rail right there right there all right so we'll get our make sure nothing falls in here that's your uh... throttle body throttle body intake Popping these off. Yeah. Now this just comes up. Comes right out. But then when you unplug these injectors, the fuel rail's under pressure. You can't, there's no place to relieve the pressure. So you can go under the car. And under here, there's a red clip right in front of the gas tank. There it is. You can take this off. And then squeeze that fuel line and then all the gas pressure will come off of it. Now, this stuff goes right into the intake. Right, I mean, right into the cylinder. So if you get any junk in here, you're going to want to get all the junk cleaned off your injectors and make sure nothing falls in these holes here. So we're going to actually get a vacuum and vacuum this stuff out. Not what I thought it was. It's under your arm right there. We're laying 
in this underneath here so that it won't put it under this one. Do you get it? It's a bit of a tight fit. Okay, now when we pull off these injectors, there may be pressure on the fuel rail because we didn't disconnect them. But you don't want that fuel going into you. Okay, there wasn't much at all. All right, so these are the old, old injectors. We have four new ones. We're going to pull them out. We're going to put them in here and place it back into where they go. So we're putting in reused, well, they're called refurbished, remanufactured, whatever. So all they did was probably just clean them out and make them squirt. Some of them came with seals and some of them, some of them did not. That's the lower seal. Upper seal, this one doesn't even have an upper seal, does it? Yeah, it does. It's it right does. there. Yeah, right. These have the upper seals. They're orange. But they didn't come with the lower seal. So we may have to reuse what we have because they want, I'm sure, 15 bucks for each one of these seals. Just make sure they're not cracked. Make sure you have seals on both ends. And we're going to start back here with this one. And these notches right here in the fuel rail tell you exactly on the other side where the fuel injector goes. So that's a nice indicator. So you know that this injector, the part with the wire has to be on this side. And you know you're going to Slide right in underneath. That. This is the most difficult one to do. And it's in. That's good. All right, now we took these two little things off just because they kept falling back down, falling off. They go right in here before the fuel rail goes on. That did it. Oh, next. Now put the spacers in. And line up all the injector holes. You might have to just move them up a little bit to get them all lined up. Start with the one over there. And then make sure they're going in the hole. Yep. Okay, I'll hold it down. You put the 12s in. Yeah, if they're, the, if they're this far, they're definitely in. I think I got the 12 right here. That one started. Now plug in all your injectors. Make 
sure you hear the click. Cool. All right. I'll put the air cleaner back on. Pull the sock out. <laughs> Make sure your little rubber grommet is on the outside of there. Actually, it goes on this piece over here. Where'd you put the other piece? The air cleaner. And it's on the other side of the chair. Should have a square tab somewhere where this goes. Uh, I don't see it. I may just be pulling it out. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently. <laughs> Feels right. <laughs> Got to tighten that. Plug back in the mass airflow sensor and intake air temperature sensor. Make sure your wires aren't broken. I've had to replace those on these Gen Gen 1 Priuses. Extensions right there. Yeah, I think that's... Oh. Gotta make sure it's tightening. Tighten this one with the extension. It's a noisy one. That's on there. That's good. Now on a Prius, when you first start your Prius up after you let the pressure off the fuel rail, it may give you an error code because the engine doesn't start the first time. And the only reason it doesn't start the first time is because the fuel pump is not turned on on a Prius unless the engine is spinning around. So a lot of like GMs, the fuel pump starts as soon as you turn the key to the on position, the fuel pump starts. On this car, the Gen 1 Prius, you may get an error code that you have to clear because it's going to say that the engine failed to start. Well, that's just because, again, the fuel pump does not turn on unless the engine's running. I've seen that in every single Gen 1 Prius that we have. We have 13 of them. So just count on that. Now, Right now, you hear that clunking? Mm -hmm. That's because there's no gas pressure. So now you got, just like I said, you got the failed to start. Okay, turn it off because the fuel pump would have pumped up by now. Now start it again. And now it won't do the rattle because the fuel, full pre fuel pressure's up. Just like I said, the fuel pump only works when the engine's cranking and your hybrid battery had to crank the engine that whole time because it didn't have fuel pressure built up yet. So now we'll have to change, we'll have to clear that error code. Well, the error code will go away after three times, after you drive it three times because it'll say, oh, it's not failing to start now. So that's how you change the injectors and what you have to look out for when you change the injectors in a Gen 1 Prius. So we're plugging in the OBD2 reader and we're gonna clear that code. Turn the key to the on position. But don't crank it. Uh, you don't, you can have this running, but you don't have to. Just gotta have the key in the on position. It's gonna give you a fail to start and we're just gonna clear that. Okay, now you got it. Yep, look, 3191. 
failed to start. I guarantee you. Next page, because you got to find the Toyota. Enter. That's enter. Yeah. Enter. Keep going. Till you find Toyota. Good mess. Too many cars out there. Yep, does not start exactly what I said. So we're going to clear that code and then like there was one more code as well. Yeah, it was uh there was two of them. One was pending or something. Okay, now um you can turn the car off or unplug it and we'll hit the read again. Oh, it's already reading again. Now the nice thing about this 3171 is it does all the Toyota enhanced. Prius is right down there. You're going the long way. You could have hit up arrow. Scenic route. Scenic route. You hit it. Yes, it is. Now it's checking all of your all of your Toyota enhanced stuff. Okay, so there aren't any there. You scroll down. Nope, see there aren't any. You don't have anything with your ABS, cruise control, or anything. Because, I mean, it's all good. We we fixed that. We haven't done your battery yet, have we? Mm -mm. Online, you can buy a VPeak scanner. And this will actually integrate with the Dr. Prius app that you can download. It'll tell you the condition of your hybrid battery and stuff. And this is only like $29 online. The OBD2 reader I was using previously was like a $300 from AutoZone, but um, it'll read everything too. It's just that this one right here is a lot cheaper and fits in your pocket pretty much. And you can download the Dr. Prius app and read everything that we just read with this.